now when both sides of the gun control issue are increasing pressure on state lawmakers as they draw closer to voting on changes in state law in response to the shooting at Sandy Hook. Today, a powerful opposition group and its supporters holding a lobby day at the Capitol. News 8's Kent Pierce is live this morning in Hartford with more on the group behind this rally. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Ann and Chris. The assembly is getting closer to voting to change Connecticut's gun laws. And before they do, both sides want to be heard one more time. So they're holding lobby days. The National Rifle Association has its lobby day today, urging its members to contact legislators. The other side, gun control advocates, are doing the same thing on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, there's going to be a public hearing about a legislative proposal for gun control laws. That is, if the legislature can get behind just one proposal, the bipartisan subcommittee to prevent gun violence proved not to be so bipartisan and last week came out with competing Republican and Democratic proposals. Uh, the main sticking points are a broadening of the assault ban and limiting the number of bullets that a gun's magazine can hold. We're told that leaders from both parties are meeting behind closed doors today to try to hammer out some sort of compromise about that to get that done in time for Thursday's public hearing. Thursday is the three-month anniversary of the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary. We're live outside the state capitol complex in Hartford. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.